Hello everybody and welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I'm your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we wandered around a little bit, attempting to get through this area here. Uh, visited the Shallow Grave, did a little bit of fighting and wiped out a couple of armies, but also got uh, one of our armies destroyed. So, in the interim, I've actually built up the, uh, the forces again. And we're pretty well ready to siege this tower. So we're going to take out this tower here and hopefully that should open up the rest of the areas to us. Because so far everywhere I can go is blocked off and I'm not strong enough at this stage to deal with that army there or that tower there. I really want to have an army that is uh, at least one level above whatever it is I'm fighting in order to make it more consistent so uh we're going to engage this force so here we go i wish i could actually i think i actually worked that out before i keep meaning to actually reorganize because i actually think the spacing is based on their positions in I yeah, only lost one cleric that entire fight. Awesome. At least I healed up those that I lost. Alright. Oh, and my dude leveled up. Awesome. Uh, oh, that's what I've currently got. This is what I've got the ability to take. Alright. Alright. Let's have a go at this army then, since we're on a roll. There we go. Notice half face inscription nearby stone. All right. Now, the one thing I wanted to, to do was this. If you look here, you can see. I think this is actually the the way they were organized on the battlefield. Because I notice all my men are sort of stuck up in the far corner. So I want to try that and see if that actually is the case. Um. All right. So we've got the, uh, the Hell Knights and the Primitive Altar that I can get to now. So, let's switch back over to Battle Mode, or to Exploration Mode, mode I should say. So hopefully we'll actually get the Hell Knights assisting us. That is an additional army resource. Oh. Rather quickly, come here. From the mountain, you see a raided camp and two groups of warriors, one wearing white and yellow armor, the other in black. They, lead, they are led by a tall man in white priest robes. Some of the warriors glance around fretfully, their weapons shaking in their hands. You hear the screams of gargoyles from above. The beasts are approaching the camp. Quickly, evacuate the wounded. The beasts are about to strike again. Use cloaks as stretchers. We've got to make it through. Paralictor, your people will have to cover us while... Two more minutes left out in the open, and neither you nor I will have any troops left to order about Crusader. But the wounded... <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. Retreat to shelter. That'll do it. Uh, if the man in white has anything further to add, his words are drowned by the shrieks of gargoyles. Ah, shriek, shriek. Uh, 
I like to relieve the units of shelter. We need to get through to them. All right, so we're fighting our way to this Paralector fellow. As a voiced actor in this world. I should have listened to reason. There's something else I found out too, or I realized after the fact, what I meant, what I've not been doing actually, because I actually meant to do it beforehand. Um, I've forgotten to actually add people's spells to their spell books. So my spell casters have completely screwed up. I keep forgetting that that isn't the case. You don't automatically get your spells in Pathfinder. You've got to actually assign them. Cover me, all right? Do not whisper. So I've been making this game a lot more difficult for myself than what it needed to be. Um, I can't picture rest. Life is caught of a man and a woman dressed in white and yellow robes. Uh, even the sky is cursed. The mid and faithful break too easily. I will attempt to heal the woman. Uh, expend your efforts on someone who can be helped. Leave me. My crusade is over. Uh, what happened here? I'm a priestess of Saren Ray. Uh, from the Order of the Sunrise Sword. Next to me is the head of the Order. He's led our forces on the raid. Well wound. Gargo was attacked a few nights ago. A vast number. We've been... Never seen anything like it. Yep, alright. We were attacked. Uh, we shed the crumbs of the supplies. Everyone was suffering in hunger and thirst. We grew weak. Yep, alright, cool. We were attacked. We're sad. Hell Knights of Bastards. Got it. Alright, well, if you cannot be saved, good luck. Uh, Alright. So here come the gargoyles. Oh, she got some nice stuff then. It went splendidly. Alrighty. We do it my way. Hello, dude. My commander, I presume. Your glory precedes you. Ha <laughs> ha, damn right it does. I am Regil de Renge, Paralictor of the Order of the God Claw, and temporary officer of the Joint Unit of Hell Knights and the Order of the Sunrise Sword. I like this guy. You and your people should take positions. The gargoyles are regrouping. We expect they will attempt to break through in five to six minutes. Very good. A paralictor indeed. Impressive. Are you in command of this unit? Oh, no? Then step aside <laughs> and let me discuss the matter with the commander. A joint unit, you say? Forcibly joint. Ah. The leader of the Order of the Sunrise Sword was unable to get to safety, which is not surprising, considering his, shall we say, Excessive scrupulousness and sluggishness. Given the extreme situation, I took command of his people. Okay. Just great. Paladins and Hell Knights all in the one troop. It's like catching the plague and the pox at the same time. <laughs> Technically speaking, there isn't much in common between these events. While Paladins may truly not be frequent members of Hell Knight Orders, except for the Order of the God Claw, of course, of the course. probability of contracting both plague and the pox is not all that low. One would simply have to engage in debauchery during an epidemic. Thanks for that. My favorite pastime. Oh my god. Aw, Nenio, you're no fun. <laughs> it's supposed to be good when different people unite. We're here for a common cause. But it still gives me the creeps for some reason. Hell Knights shouldn't be allowed to get their claws into our paladins. It's wrong. All right, we'll take care of these uh, gargoyles first. Agreed. Be ready, Commander. This attack may be worse than the last one. Let's have some fun. You are nothing before me. Then one way, then the other way, then one way, then the other. They're over there! Now they're over here! Now they're over here! Hooray! Ooh. Pretty good, aren't I? 
Where are you? Ooh, a ring. Ring protection plus two. Nice. Oh, hello, Crusader. Hooray! He lives. What are you, what are you doing all the way back here? All right, sure. Have a, have a sit. Oh, we're back. Ah, uh, there you are. Oh, he's a... I don't know what they would call it in Pathfinder, but basically he's a Smurfeblin, a an Underdark Gnome. You two, check the area. May any political uh, potential shelter uh, other than protection against the aerial attacks. Quartermaster, inventory the remains of the camp. I want to make sure that the gargoyle, gargoyles only abducted people that weren't interested in anything else. Oh, and weren't interested in anything else. Send messages immediately to our scout squad and order them to return to camp. And I need a full list of casualties. The sooner the better. Commander, your arrival is well timed. Now we can finally talk. I am quite interested in the events at Grace Garrison. And I suppose you have questions for me as well. Uh, what do you want to know about the Grey Garrison? Any shift in the balance of power during this war has a direct impact on my mission. If the new player appears, who is capable of fighting demons effectively, then I am ready to support that person with all the resources I have at my disposal. But naturally, I cannot blindly trust a stranger even one marked by the gods. All right. Uh, well, you have a right to doubt. I uh, usually don't trust strangers either. So we understand each other. Thank you, Commander. Is there anything you would like to know before we move on to more serious issues? What are you going to do now? I will wait for the remaining fighters to return. What you see here is only a small part of my forces. As for my long-term plans, that depends on the results of our conversation, Commander. Before we move on to serious subjects, I'd like to address the organizational issues regarding my unit. You may wish to be present. Racket steps forward. I to permission to report during... Permission to report. During the first gargoyle attack, I determined it necessary to leave my post. I swam over the river and found the commander's army and asked them to provide assistance. The reinforcements were much needed. You will earn a double salary for your resourcefulness, Yanka, and a hundred lashes for abandoning your post. Okay. I wonder if it's uh, foolish to be overly harsh, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll say nothing. It's nothing about him. Now for more delicate issues. You, commander, were interested in our dispute with the, uh, the Knights of the Order of the Sunrise Sword, correct? Their forces in Kadabra suffered great losses of the demon attack, and now their leader has perished and his troops are in trouble. They are reeling with no command structure. Their orders will hardly be able to recover. Their order will hardly be able to cover from the losses they've suffered. So what are you getting at? These fighters aren't the finest material I've worked with, but I assume formal command over them. I'll be able to reforge them into weapons of reasonable quality. One or two might even become true hell knights. The rest will be put to good use as well. All right, then. Well, no one but them has the right to decide their fate, so talk to them directly and get your answer. Uh... Hmm. Initiates of the Sunrise Sword, your leader is dead. The Order has suffered serious losses and will not be able to recover. You may return to Mendev or to join another Crusade Order and hope that they don't meet the same fate as the Sunrise Sword. Or you may remain under my command and I will promise that it will... Uh, I will not promise it will be easy or that our war-making will be constricted by your principles. What I can promise is this. Under my command, you will never again feel helpless like mice in the talons of a ravenous raptor. Does that mean we, we've worked off the precious resources you spent on us? The water, medicine, and, and bandages? I wouldn't make such an offer if I thought you were useless garbage. Thank you for your trust, Paralector. Uh, we will stay and are ready to obey your orders. Ah, 
fine. In due course, I will review your troops and make any necessary decisions regarding your role in my unit. And now, Commander, for the important issue, cooperation between our forces. Do we have a we do have a common enemy and a common battlefield. Well, we're going to Dresden if you uh, want to join us. Ah, Dresden, an ambitious goal, but most reasonable. Imagine how such a victory would rally all the separate bands of today's crusade under one banner. And we certainly need a base of operations inside the world wound. I stand ready to support you. Moreover, I can accompany you on your campaign. However, I will remind you that the Hell Knights are outside of Mendev's jurisdiction. My unit and I will join your forces and obey your orders, but only as long as I deem that our goals coincide. Oh, hell no. I don't need the likes of this black armored statues. I don't want to fight side by side with someone who'll slit my throat if I'm weak and wounded. I can't defeat uh, one evil by inviting an equal but slightly more organized evil into our ranks. Ah, uh, slightly more organized than the demons. I could consider that an insult. Ah, join us, it'd be great. Yes, Commander. My forces and regal derinage are at your disposal. Ooh. Uh. I won't have him join me just yet. Head back to camp. Awesome! We got ourselves a new, uh. a new companion. Follow if you dare. Oh, that's easy to get out of here. All right. And now what I was talking about, I've got to do this. I keep forgetting to do it. All right. Spellbook. All right. So he's got that. Thing. But look at this. I've got all these spells that I haven't, all these different slots, and I haven't assigned any of them to, because I keep forgetting to do it. So I'm honestly thinking... It's a shitload of magic missile attacks. Alright. So I gotta rest in order to get these... spells up. We might as well do that now. I gotta reassign... Shaylin teaches you to worship beauty, but your worship does not seem to extend to myself. You have wounded me, sir. Shaylin. There we go. Oh. Ah, these are our Hell Knights. All right, awesome. I will send them to join our scout force. All right. Uh, we're heading to the primitive altar. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we can't get past them. They're a level 7 demon army. Alright. Uh... No, it looks like we're not getting through that way then. I guess we're going to have to go... Ooh, I can hire more people. Oh, I can hire Hell Knights as mercenaries. Hell yeah.
All right, let's save it. I attempt to bust through. Aha! I was right. It does do that. All right, awesome. Uh, what do we got here? Ghouls, fighters, and cultists. all my arches. Damn it. Alright then. Uh, victory nonetheless. A sinister looking lair nearby, eh? Do what I must. Be gone, fiend! Crusading isn't that good after all. I didn't want you guys to kill the shit out of that elk. I thought there was a way to actually talk to the elk, so. Don't know why I thought that, but never mind. This is my kind of work. Uh, clears left, not an animal. All right. Oh. Might be trap, might be treasure. Definitely trap. This is my kind of work. Uh, oh. Let the duel commence. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Over there. Pretty good, aren't I'm I? gone. Should just switch up my spell load out soon. Please be careful. Oh, this is my kind of work. You know what I forgot to do? This condition is Damn! I can't
I'm gone. I'll take care of it. Ha! Easy. Retreat. Do not fear. Do not Be waver. Begone, fiend. Come here, right? Flesh wound. It's all your fault. God damn it. This condition is irrational. Fucking run. <laughs> I will lend you my aid. Weapons, spells, As poisons. Nicely. The art of killing ah. is so diverse these days. You can handle them, right? <laughs> Yeah! Cheating the system, but we win. Ooh. All right. Ooh, there's some lore here. What's going on? Get Nenio back here. Worthy of praise. Follow if you dare. Oh, they tortured for weeks, right? All right. Ooh. A dagger. No. I've got to get home because I am about to die. Add him to the party. Uh, all right. So let's swap out. Yeah. I didn't check this area actually. All right, well, I am officially out of ideas. It looks like the rest of this... Running from the law, cutting purses, breaking... Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. So it looks like the only thing I can really do now is... There's no real adventuring part to do now. It's literally just building up the armies and beating my way through them to get to the different areas. So we're currently at the less adventuring side of the adventure. Um, so on that note... Alrighty. Well, on that note, that's where we're going to leave today's session. Um, I might have a little bit of a fiddle around with this off-stream. See if I can't work out what it is that I'm doing. And we'll come back next time and we'll see how it goes. I think sort of the problem with this game is that it's the same problem that I have with Kingmaker is that 
you've got one aspect of the game which is really, really good, which is the adventuring and the story, but then you get bogged down in this secondary aspect. At least with Kingmaker, you actually had the option to set that to automatic, so you didn't have to worry about dealing with building and uh, managing your kingdom. You could just let it run itself. But with this thing here, the crusading is integral to the story. But the other annoying thing is you can't actually use your main adventuring party as part of the crusade forces. So you've got two separate thing I mean I'd love to be able to just get into these battlefields and just you know send my entire adventuring group in there to just completely tip the scales obviously that's the reason why they're not doing it but it was oddly enough a um an ability that they got right in the game Brutal Legend but uh anyway for now thank you all very much for watching Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble bard, Tim. And be sure to come back for the next session of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Bye!